On today's video, we're taking a look at the PSP. No, not that PSP, the PlayStation Portal, which is an accessory to the PlayStation 5, which will allow you to harness the power and excitement of the PlayStation 5 in the palm of your hand. Hello Retro Gaming, Home Arcade, and Handheld Gaming Enthusiasts, it's me, it's me, it's Michael B. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the PlayStation Portal. This accessory for the PlayStation 5 will allow you to play your PlayStation 5 games on the go, provided there's a Wi-Fi connection. Now does this product actually make sense? Because it's very limited when it comes to a handheld, but despite all that, I'm actually a really big fan, and I'm going to tell you why right after this. So that's right, guys. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the PlayStation Portal. I was very happy to be able to pick one of these up at the absolute last minute when GameStop got a restock right before Christmas. And now I've had some time, play around with it over the holidays, and I can't wait to share my opinion of it with you guys but before we get into that i want to say thank you so much for checking out the video guys i always appreciate the support if this is your first time to the channel you like what you see go ahead subscribe click the bell for notifications all that youtube jazz so guys after much searching i finally got my hands on a playstation portal through gamestop when they did a restock and here it is in my game room so here's everything that's included in the box. You will get a charging cable, which is a USB-C to USB-C. We're going to talk about that in a sec. You also get one of the most minimalistic instruction manuals I think I've ever seen with any product ever. No pictures, no fuss, no muss, just text. And then, of course, you get the PlayStation Portal remote player itself in all its glory. And this is absolutely one of the ugliest handhelds you're ever going to see. However, it does have that distinct PlayStation look. It's basically a controller split in two with the screen in the middle. So on the back, we've got a power button. I don't know what that other button is. The volume buttons are on that side. And then underneath, you're going to see where the charging cable plugs in in a very awkward position. There's also a headphone jack there as well. Now to charge this, you are going to plug directly into your PlayStation 5 and charge it just like a controller. They're very specific on this. This is the safest way to charge your device. Also on the other side, you're going to get the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so you can use any headphone that has one of those. We're just going to plug it into the hole here, there you're connected, and now you can use headphones on your PlayStation Portal. It also does have Bluetooth connectivity, but only for the PlayStation branded headphones. So once you get connected to your PlayStation, you're going to go in and basically it will give you direct access a connection to the PlayStation 5 itself you can go through all your games and apps well you actually can't use your apps media apps and DVD won't work on this like with remote play elsewhere once you're connected you can get to gaming right away and basically you're seeing what's happening on your PlayStation 5 while you're playing in handheld mode Essentially, all you're doing here is remote play, which you can already do with PlayStation. If you have an iPad and a PlayStation 5 controller, you can connect and play remote play that way. Or if you get a backbone and you connect that to your phone, you can play it that way as well. So we're not really doing anything different here except you have a direct device that's meant for remote play with all the DualSense functionality of the controller and a pretty decent 8 inch screen that's right there connected to that controller. And while the screen is not OLED like the latest releases from Nintendo and the Steam Deck, it is however 1080p so it is a higher resolution and to tell you the truth the picture looks pretty friggin great. Gameplay feels incredibly responsive on the controller with a good internet connection. It feels like I'm playing directly on my PlayStation 5. Everything looks good, it feels good, and of course you've got that comfortable, amazing DualSense controller. One thing I do want to mention is this device is entirely dependent 
on a good Wi-Fi connection. And in my home, sometimes the Wi-Fi can be spotty. So I did notice a lot of hiccups with the game stalling or graphical glitches. And I was constantly being brought out of the game back to the startup menu. As you can see here, the game is freezing, glitching a little bit. And then it's going to completely disconnect. I will tell you, this video almost never happened because of the consistent problems I was having with my internet while I was trying to record. But once you do get it going and get it going well, the experience is fantastic. Most people don't have molasses Canadian cable internet like I do, so you should have a much better experience. And the other cool thing is you can actually take this out of your home as well and play depending on the internet connection. One other issue I do have with this is you lose the functionality of the sense bar on the DualSense controller. So in order to enable actions where the games will require that, you have to double tap the screen and the results can sometimes vary. One benefit, of course, compared to other handheld gaming devices is I can have a physical disc in my PlayStation 5 and be playing that game while I'm not in the room. Say my wife wants to watch TV or I'm upstairs taking care of my kids, I can still play my PlayStation 5 games. The other thing I really want to focus on is while this may be one of the ugliest handheld devices you will ever see in your entire life, the thing is incredibly comfortable. I mean, obviously the DualSense controller, one of the most comfortable, cool controllers ever. The way they've configured this with the screen in the middle, an all-in-one device, incredibly comfortable to play. And when it runs well on your internet, you're getting a pretty solid experience with that 1080p screen. Everything looks really good and the experience is really enjoyable. I really can't emphasize how comfortable this is to play. Even the thumbsticks, although they are a little bit smaller, still feel really good to use. The rest of the controller is pretty much to spec with the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. It's comfortable, it's not too heavy. While this lacks some of the other benefits of a handheld console, keep in mind it's only $200, you're getting a fantastic controller, a really good screen, and the ability to take your PlayStation 5 games on the go with you and play them away from your console. To me, that's a big win. So anyways guys, that's my look at the PlayStation Portal, this extremely limited handheld, which I actually consider to be more of an accessory for the PlayStation 5, really doesn't make a lot of sense if you're not committed to playing on the handheld itself. Like, let's be honest, this is something you can do through remote play, through an iPad or other device. I mean, with the iPad, you can even hook up a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller that will actually give you more functionality. Or you could get a backbone and just play on your phone. But if you want the dedicated PlayStation 5 feel, the Portal does a very good job of that because you get the actual controls and while this thing is super ugly, man is it ever comfortable and as a remote play device, it works really well. Anyways guys, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the PlayStation Portal? Is this device worth the pickup? Is it a waste of money where you could play it other ways or do you see it like me as an extension of your PlayStation 5 and just a way to kind of play it on the go? provided you do have a Wi-Fi connection. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, and I'll talk to you next time.